Hello everyone, this is Char and welcome to part 2 of the 5.5 .5 tier list. I ranked all the subs and specials in my most recent part, so you can check that out if you want to see that. It's pretty relevant because now we are going to be ranking the quote-unquote bad weapons, and I guess some of the decent weapons, we're going to be covering everything from bottom, low, and mid-tier. So I'm going to go in order from class and ranking them on here. I think it's a little bit different than just going from bottom to top and could be a little bit more interesting. So we got this gun, we got this gun. Both the splooshes we're going to be on here first. The vanilla sploosh, hurling bomb is all right for an approach option, but shooters really need a pokeable lethal bomb. Something like that would be a lot more helpful for it. And it has Splashdown, which just gets shot out of the sky right now, so that's not super good right now. We have Neo Sploosh, which is a little bit better because the beacons can be useful for some maps, even though it's not great on the weapon. The main thing is it has cheap 170 missiles, which is not bad, honestly, and it's at least something to help the weapon get in. But right now, not having a lethal bomb really sucks. We have Custom Junior, and I will say this for any rain spam weapon. Rain spam is a terrible idea because when you use Storm, it lasts a while, and during that time, you can't farm another Storm. So if you're comparing it with something like Bubbles or Armor, what the other two Juniors have, where you use them, and then you get to immediately work on another one after you're done, where you can get your armor broken and work on it, something like Missiles works for that. That doesn't work with rain. If you throw rain, you have to wait to farm another, which is why even though C Junior is 160, it takes longer to get multiple of them than it does to get something like Junior Armor. V Splash, higher up in the mid tier, this is definitely a much better weapon. Now, the main problem with it is that Inkjet Spam, which is the main reason you would run a vanilla Splash Matic, straight up isn't that good right now. It doesn't have a bomb. And most importantly, L3D exists and kind of hard outclasses it because it's pretty good at getting Inkjet. It is 30 more points for special, but it has more painting range. And I want to take this time to say painting range really matters because if you can paint further ahead of you during the course of a game, you'll be having a much easier time painting in front. Whereas if you play something like a Junior, you have to be careful not to get too close. But if you play something like a Jet, you can always paint from a safe distance and you'll probably be fine. So that's a couple of the main problems with it. Mist is also just not a great sub weapon. Uh, Gold Arrow Spray, this list is all modes, but it's not including Turf War, and this weapon's really only useful on Turf War. If you want to spam a special, there's better options. Baller is kind of bad right now, it is at least Light Baller. Arrow Spray is a very weak main weapon. V-Shot, main plus sub is really nice. Burst Bombs is cool, but you just don't want Splashdown. I'm not going to talk too much about the Splashdown weapons, to be honest. There isn't too much to say. Like I said last time, it's better at lower levels, but the higher up you go, the easier people are at shooting it down. Would you believe we're putting a 52 gal this low? We're putting 52 gals this low because that's how important kits are. Now, these are still 52, and 52 is still a stupid weapon, so they're still pretty good. They're at the top of mid-tier. However, Stingray is not good for short-range weapons because if you use it, you're way too close. You have to back up, use Ray, and then move forward again. And also, Ray is better the further back you go because if you track someone farther away, you have to turn less. This is Pythagorean Theorem Triangles, if you've done middle school, you can understand what that is. So Stingray is great for backlines, it's a good special, but it is not good on short range weapons. Zap 83, same range spam problem as C Junior, it's 10 more points for special, the main weapon is better, but it doesn't have a bomb, so honestly they're about the same. V Pro, again 170 rain, but it's rain so it doesn't matter too much, you can still run MPU on it, but you don't have a bomb, so it just doesn't really have any big reason to be used, but it's not terrible, so it's up in mid tier. Forge Pro is just a worse foil squeezer. Like, let's just get this out of the way, that's why it's this low. Squeezer has more range, perfect accuracy, and a painting mode. One frame slower kill time compared to Pro. Now, Pro also, this has a problem that a lot of weapons have, which is main power-up. Now, main power-up is absolutely fine on a Pro. However, when you have Bubble Blower, when you want Object Shredder, when you want Last Ditch Effort, when you want Special Power-up, you can't fit that and MP on the same time which is why Bubble Blower weapons and main power-up weapons do not go well together, because you cannot run both of it. It's just too much gear, and that's the big problem with Forge. 96 Deco is Splashdown. It's pretty outclassed by Gluga. It's still a fine main weapon. Luna Neo has no bomb, and, I mean, it's 170 bombers, so it's not terrible, but mine on a Blaster, a weapon that already struggles in this meta because it does not paint, and it cannot get in to kill because it does not have a bomb, it barely has any mobility. Way too many problems for it. v is a bit better. It's 170 baller. It's a bomb. Actually, I'll put it up here. It's honestly not bad. Baller is not a great special, but light baller is at least tolerable. The kit has good synergy. 
The thing is that this meta is so based around painting and staying alive with stuff like K52 that Luna just doesn't really have a place right now. And speaking of K-Luna, it's a similar thing, and K-Luna has a very similar problem to with Forge, and this is going to be slightly lower, which is K-Luna has a great kit for painting support. Even with Rain. Rain is normally not good on paint support, but it's nice with Double Fizzy because you can use it to Fizzy Zone twice, Rain, Double Fizzy. That's pretty nice. However, this is put on a Luna, a weapon that doesn't paint and wants to slay. The kit and the weapon itself wants to do very different things, and because the main weapon already has problems, it just leads to it falling apart. Splashdown, enough said. Uh, the kit doesn't work for it at all. Curling Bomb just... Uh, no, it's not there. You need a bomb to poke, especially with blasters that are slow, and it just doesn't have it, so I don't care about this weapon. It's also just range blaster, something that cannot deal with half the specials in the game, doesn't paint, is too slow, has jump spread that keeps it from playing the game properly, etc. V-Range is a little bit of a better kit. And Grim has a insane kit, which is why I will put it all the way up at the top of mid-tier, because this is an all-modes tier list and tower control exists. Burst Bombs are good for maneuverability. It's a poking sub it can actually use. Missiles while being 190, it can get a decent bit and do help it. It's still Range Blaster. It's still bad for all the reasons I mentioned earlier, but at least it has a kit. Uh, Custom Blaster's fine. I think Inkjet is good on it. I think Auto Bomb is a okay poking sub. It's not going to combo, but it's better than not having a bomb. It's fine. It really struggles killing people with specials. It can't break Booyah. It can't deal with armor. Inkjet isn't the best thing right now because Inkjet has the same problem. You Inkjet a 52, it's going to throw a wall. Then when its wall's dead, it's going to Booyah. Splash is just going to bomb rush the zone. Vjet's not going to give a sh. Too many problems. Uh, v Clash, we have short range weapon with Stingray problem all over again. Bomb is nice, main weapon is not bad. I'll talk about it more when we get to Clash Neo. Nobody wants Spot Bomb Stingray though, sorry. Honestly, if you really want a supportive kit, then the Mine and Bomb Rush one will do it better, and even that one's not great. This one's just kind of mediocre. Mist is not great. If you're gonna miss and trap people, guess what? It's faster to just shoot them three times. It's not really that great. If you want the Long Nose Rapid, you can use the Armor Rapid. If you want a supportive rapid for whatever reason, you can play the vanilla rapid. If you don't like armor, there's no reason to use this one. Uh, Cherry H3. Honestly, a great main weapon. Not perfect, but it's good. Has a nice one burst kill time. It could do its own thing. Uh, problem, it takes three bursts to break bubble and it has no bomb. Goodbye. Also, another bubble weapon that likes MPU and can't run both problem. V Squeezer. Squeezer is a great main weapon, but it has Stingray. It's mid-range, so it's not as bad, but it really doesn't work well with its kit, and Foil Squeezer is amazing. V Carbon. Carbon players like to use this on tower control because of the cheap storm for clearing it, and Auto Bomb's kind of nice for poking. In general, Carbon Deco is way better. I guess I'll put it up here because it does see use in tower control, and again, there's an almost uh, all modes tier list, but... I'm not really super enthusiastic about it. I just think it's not bad. Carbon players use it in tower for a reason. Roller. What do we even have? We have baller roller. I'm just going to get these out of the way. There's not much to say about the reg rollers. Like, they're just average. They're okay at killing, but like, who cares? They're not painting. They're not doing too much. They need curling to get in. So this kit sucks. This one at least has a bomb. Baller's trash. This one is bubble combo, and it's solid, but again, without map control, you just poke bomb. Main weapon still really struggle at dealing with armor. It's going to lose to 52, lose to all this other stuff. It's just way too problematic, honestly, and that really sucks, because rollers are cool, but they're just not good right now. All the dynamos are pretty underrated. I can talk about all of them at the same time. They're cool, honestly. They're pretty nice. They paint well. They have good kits, but they're just way too slow. Bomb spam with last ditch effort being so good, you just throw bombs a dynamo. You just have so many bombs in a good competitive setting, like most comps are three or four bombs. You just bomb the dynamo, force it to move, kill it, all this other stuff. It's just decent, maybe, but it does, there's just no real reason to use any of them. Even with solid kits, they just have a really hard time being outclassed. Uh, v Flingza, it's cool for bomb rush spam, but there's better options if you want bomb rush spam. Walford is pretty much useless, don't really care about it other than that. That's the wrong Flingza. My bad. B Flingza, not foil. Uh, Splashdown. Not talking about this. I know the bomb is nice for Ink Brush. I'm not denying it, but not having a special is kind of bad. 
Octobrush Nuvo, it's good in a few map modes, but not having a bomb really sucks. It's basically a better version of Neo Sploosh, though, with the Beacon 170 missile. Uh, FYI, for the rest of this tier list, I'm not ranking scopes and unscopes separately. I know you can. Technically, unscopes are a little bit better right now, but I just don't care enough to talk about it. Regardless, this kit doesn't have a sub weapon, and it is a panic button special. Firefin has the panic button sub and a useful special, which is the better combination every time. We finally have a beacon weapon that can actually use beacons because it has enough range to poke for itself. Too bad it has bubbles, which leader can't do any damage to, and V leader is just a way better version, so goodbye. Uh, GooTubers. The main weapon is not completely horrible, though it's outclassed by Squiffers. Custom GooTuber is outclassed by Fresh Squiffer because it's the same kit, but a little bit more expensive special in exchange for a suction bomb. Squiffer charging full speed in the air will always be a better gimmick than holding a charge for longer. I'm very sorry, GooTuber players, but your weapons are just kind of outclassed right now. That's the problem with basing a weapon around a gimmick. Vanilla GooTuber has flashed down, enough said. Here is your Ray on a frontline weapon problem, moving on. Zimmy, this is another rain spam doesn't really work problem, but at least it's better than 83 and C Junior curling bomb is a bit better than sprinkler and auto. In fact, I'll move this up here. Zimmy is okay for rain spam, but the main weapon is better on its other kits, honestly. Uh, v Heavy is just hard outclassed by custom jet. Custom jet being 190p does not matter. This thing will still be way slower at getting it. Uh, it's an okay bubble weapon. It can deal damage to it. It doesn't really suffer that much from not having a bomb. Wall is solid. Main problem is just heavy is not that great a main weapon. It's kind of just average at everything. It has okay paint, but if you want a splattling long distance pressure, ballpoint and hydro are going to be better. If you want something that's going to put even more pressure, you can pick a charger. If you really want to be able to bully other backlines, you can pick a custom jet sculpture. If you want a painter, you can pick an explo. There's just no reason to use any of these, I'm sorry. V Hydra, I don't want to hear anyone defending. This is splashdown on a backline. I'm tired of your... Oh my god, but it's a surprise. No, it's not. People know it's a splashdown Hydra. People are going to realize it at a certain level of play. Yes, you may get away with it in your A-rank lobbies or something like that. Or maybe even in rank X sometimes, because rank X is rank X. But guess what? You put it into a comp setting, you put it against a top 500 player, you press splashdown, you're dead. Autobomb is not great with it either. You throw autobomb and then you have to charge. You can't capitalize off the autobomb. Hydra likes deployables because you can put it down and then actually use it while you're firing. That's why stuff like Sprinkler, Ink Mine, Beacon is good with this weapon. Uh, v Ballpoint, I mean, it's fine. It's not bad. It's a solid main weapon. It's not a great sub, but it's not on the worst option for it. And uh, Inkjet is 200p. Inkjet's not really that great with it. The Ballpoint Nouveau is a much better kit, especially having Beacon. I don't have too much to say for v Point. it's just another mismatched kit. The Dapple Duel isn't going to be real, your weapon sucks right now. You do not have painting range, and none of you have a lethal bomb. So guess what? When you don't have map control, you're pretty useless. Beacon is okay when you have control, but there's just better beacon options. Mist is nice for Rainmaker, and Dapples has high damage for Rainmaker, but Silver Arrow and Sploosh 7 are both great Rainmaker niche weapons that outclass it. And then Clapples has the best overall kit, at least it has a bomb, even if it's not a perfect one, it can combo with it. But it's still a splashdown weapon, and it's a short-ranged apple that can barely do anything, and is super dependent on having map control to play the game. Reg Dooleys are a bit better. They got an ink efficiency buff in this patch, which moved them up a good bit. In fact, I'll actually move them up a bit higher. They're not bad. They're still kind of outclassed. There's better options to play, but... They really lose to main power-up weapons, they're nowhere near as fast or paint as well as shooters, and N Perry and K Dooley are still way too high points for special. V Dooley is a bit better with Burst Bomb being a cool niche with it, with Burst Bomb Missile, but typically a full-on supportive kit is a bit better, so stuff like Suction Bomb on K-Shot, or if you really want pure missile spam, something like V Jet just works a bit better. V Gluga just has a terrible kit. I mean, mine is not great on it, at least it has some level of range. Uh, it's 170 Inkjet, and that's probably the nicest thing I can say about it. The kit does not help Gluga. It desperately needs a wall because its rolls are slow. Gluga doesn't paint very well. Sorry, Glugas. Cake Gluga is not bad. It's pretty carried by its kit being the literal best kit in the game, potentially, besides, like, Fizzy Bubble Blower, but we'll get to that later. It's cool, but... I mean, it has the same problem as Kayluna. Its kit is a supportive kit, and the main weapon does not paint. It at least paints a little bit better than Luna. It's not as bad, 
But it still doesn't want to do what a support weapon wants to do. It's not going to be painting for a team or anything like that, and thus, it's kind of just a problem. Kit synergy matters. The main weapon and kit wants to do the same type of job, not different ones. Tetras are pretty good main weapons. I can't knock them. Four dodge rolls, shooting while you roll, that's pretty nice. If they had a kit, if they had the ability to paint, if MP didn't exist, they'd probably be a lot better. The fact that they're this high in mid-tier, even with not having kits, not being able to paint, and losing to main power weapons, is probably a testament to how good I think the main weapon actually is, despite those problems. If these things had a kit and it was a Slayer-based meta, I think they would be so good. It's a shame that this meta is just nothing that this wants to have. Um, let's get the obvious ones out of the way. Vunder is trash. Just getting it out there, getting it over with. We're moving on with our lives. Vunder is a bad main weapon. It is a bad sub-weapon. It's okay if it's a long-range weapon, and Vunder isn't. It has some synergy with it, but it needs a bomb desperately. And then Splashdown is a suicide button. All right, let's surprise people. Sunder is not that bad, and people don't know. But having a bomb means it can actually fight decently. So basically, Undercover will go fight someone, it'll wait until its shield is broken, and then it'll use its baller to keep it alive. It'll roll around in baller and wait until it gets another shield. Then it'll blow up the baller and fight with the second shield during this whole time it has access to bombs. So yay, it's a better, I guess. It's still an undercover brawl, it still really struggles to kill. The only reason it lasts versus armor is because you use the combo backwards. You shoot someone to break the armor and then you bomb their feet. That is the only way it actually can stand a chance in this fighting meta. So it needed either a burst or a splat bomb and a survivability option, and it got it. Guess what? Still an undercover brawl, it's still not great. It's just functional. All right, and that will officially be it for the mid to bottom tier section of the tier list. There is honestly not that many bad weapons in this game. It is mostly bad kits. It's part of why I want there to be third kits for every weapon in Splatoon 3 and why I want kits to get more attention because bad kits can really ruin a weapon. There are some weapons in here that are because of the main weapon, stuff like Range Blaster, Dynamo, Dooleys, but a good chunk of these are just, damn, those kits suck. So yeah, Nintendo, please, more care into kits. I believe we're already doing that, but let's really be careful with this one. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any arguments, you can put it in the comments, or if you're watching live in Twitch chat, please keep it respectful, and I will see you all later.